In this video, I'm going to show you how to use HDRI to light your scene in 3ds Max with Octane. There's two ways I'm going to explain you. The first one is using a high resolution HDRI and the second one is using low resolution HDRI and an image for backplate that is more efficient to use. So, as you can see, there's no lights in the scene and everything is completely black. The first thing I'm going to do is add an RGB image map to our environment slot. In order to import any texture into Octane, you have to use this RGB image. So, I make it an instance and choose my high resolution HDRI from my hard drive. So let's run Octane Interactive Render and see what exactly we're doing. So as you can see the gamma is incorrect and we have to change the gamma to 1 in order to achieve the correct gamma of the image. I'll increase the power to increase the lighting of the scene. Uh, I change it to 25 and increase the gamma slightly to 1.1 to give it a little more contrast to the image and if you want to change the rotation of your HDRI you can easily uh, do it by changing the translation that's it we're done this is the first method there's another way of using HDRI maps so let me clear the environment for now we don't need that anymore we're going to add two daylight systems one of them for lighting and another one for background let's turn this off for now and this is the default settings okay I'm going to lock the camera in this view and change the type to texture now I'm going to choose my low resolution HDRI. Okay, let's choose it. And change the setting as we did before. It's ready. Let's turn this off for now and turn this on. Change the kind to visible, the type to texture, and enabling the backplate. Now, instead of using an HDRI map, I'm going to use a JPEG file. Let's choose it. Okay. The gamma is correct, but I'm going to raise the power a little bit. And as you can see, we have the background and the HDRI is correct. And I can change the rotation of the sky and it doesn't affect the scene. Just put it wherever you want. Okay, that's done. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I have some other tips and tricks in my YouTube channel or Instagram account. Have a good day.